might remember here and also for people watching that Parliament actually did and we have to say it over and over again Mr Speaker but Parliament abrogated its responsibility to take this decision. It asked the people. It said we will listen to whatever you say. And I don't care what anyone says. The dictionary definition to me of what leave means is very, very simple. And all these motions today with the amendments motions today with the exception of, of, of the one tabled by the uh, right honourable member for Billericay are all <coughs> designed in some way or other to actually not allow us to leave in the way that people thought they were voting for when they voted on June the 23rd, 2016, because it was made very clear, and I don't want to go out like, uh, Mr Speaker, I don't want to go into the details here, but it was very clear, and we all know, that leave meant leaving all the institutions of the European Union. So, Mr Speaker, um, I'm disappointed, and I would never uh, question it, but I am disappointed we haven't had a vote on the amendment. I think that would have been sensible, and I will I hope that today people remember that the biggest, biggest majority in this House for anything to do with the European <coughs> Union were the 498 votes that said we would leave with or without a deal. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I only need um, 30 seconds to make.